now in this session we will learn about the showing a single post okay showing a single post how we can show a single post in a separate page let's try to see for example let's say that i want to show this post in a separate page so get details so now i can add some link here show details so let's go to the post dot view i'm going to the post dot view here i can write something like th action so here in this td i will be writing so router link router link show post details show post details so i need to show the complete post details so now here i need to give some so post slash some id unique id i need to give it here so that i can catch that id to that separate page and i can get to all those details of that particular post id if you go into this one if i refresh this page so we will be able to see action what has happened this one is refreshing so is there anything wrong i have written nothing is there right first thing is there what has happened so let's try to stop this and run try to run it again router link to post slash id show post detail router link close yeah that's it is there in this one difference let it run so it's uh, still taking time yeah it's running <coughs> so it's running let's refresh it let's go to the post so if i go to the post here i'm able to see action show post details so if i click on this one i'm able to go to the post slash id so here id should be unique one so id unique one is nothing but this id okay this id i need to carry it so whenever i am clicking on this post details i need to carry this id and i need to show it here post slash like this one second yeah so now we need to capture this id so for example let's say that i captured this id I captured this id so what i need to do here in the main.js what i will try to do it here is so for example if any path comes okay if any path comes something like slash post slash this id then load component post item okay so component post item we don't have this component so let's try to load this component so component post item here in this one i am creating a new file post item dot view i'll be taking post item dot view yeah <clears throat> template so i'll be having a template so this one is the post item now here i will be having a script export default so here we will be having like this so now if i try to refresh this page so i will be able to get post slash some idea i have given it right so that is wrong or what post slash this one post item we are having this post item so post item we are having this post item so post item dot view and we need to import this post item we forgot import post item from dot slash pages slash post item dot view okay so this is the thing now if i try to see the output so here we are able to see the post item so now if i go to the post and if i click on another post details so here we need to capture this one and we need to add it again so this id we need to add it again so that means so here if i go to the main.js so i need to add again another one in the same scenario but this time this id needs to be changed okay so now again we will, we will be getting this post item so now if i try to see the same thing so we will get the post item here so here if i try to check the same thing 
you will get the post items here so now if you try to see so here we are having so many lot of post pages for each one we cannot write the routing thing so we cannot we cannot write each for each one we cannot write the routing thing so what we need to do is so here this comes the dynamic routing so for example let's say that up to here which part is the dynamic thing so if you try, try to see here in the two posts so this id is the dynamic thing so what i can do is here is so here i can remove this one one thing and post slash here i can use colon id so this one is the dynamic thing i can use the colon id so this can be string or anything so whatever it matches it it loads the post item for example if you try to see here post slash some something if i try to write it i'm able to get the post item if i write write one two three also it will load the post item so that doesn't care about the next one id so it will give you that id so that means if i try to load any page here in the post if i try to load any page here it will go to the post item so now what i can do here instead of having this in the post dot view id so here i can add a dynamic one so you can here i can take colon so this one is completely like this i can keep it and dollar of post dot id i can give like this post dot id so post dot id in red yeah post dot id so if i try to see here in the post so each one will have a specific url for example if i click on this one see we are able to get to the post item and if i go back and if i click on any other thing we are able to see the post item so that means we are able to successfully go to the post item now my <coughs> our next concept is so we need to load the details we need to get the details related to this id get all the post details related to this id and we need to load the post details so how we can load it is for example first of all we need to, we need to catch this id so how we can catch this id so how we can catch this id is using the routing thing so using the route uh, variable we are having it right so we can using that route variable thing we can catch this one so this is how how actually we will be loading this dynamic route parameter so if you are having a one of the path so it is not unique it is going on changing means so you can use a placeholder like this colon id and you can load all the paths for this but uh, and you can load all the for all these paths you can load this particular component so like this this is called as a dynamic route params if you go to the vue.js so you will be able to see vue.js not vue.js view router so we are having view router right we are learning about the view router so you will be able to see about the dynamic uh, route params from where you will be having name 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 pass props dynamic route matching here so you will be able to see user the slash colon id so load the component user so whatever may be the id it may be a, anything segment starts with a colon so here user slash username you can have whatever the name you want you can keep it not only the id you can keep any name so that name you don't think that it is you should keep only the id you, should, you can keep name also or otherwise you can keep post id so whatever the name you want you can keep it so using this name what we will try to do is i will try to explain you so this is how we will be catching uh, we will be adding this one in the routing url so post slash id username so multiple also you can have it <coughs> So like this we'll have so now reacting to the param changes so these are called as an routing params so these are called as an routing params now how we can catch this routing params is we'll try to learn it <coughs>